Ace Rothstein trusts Ginger with $2 million of his money in the early 1970s. How much is that worth today? $10 million. Oh, not bad. $14 million. Ooh, wow. At May night, we have to come up with a change for every movie we review. I'm going to suggest that Casino would be a better film if we just removed anything to do with Ginger. Ah. The two of them were just infuriating to watch. Right. And the truth is, I'm pretty sure she wasn't even really necessary for the plot. Okay, go on. Tell me why. <laughs> okay, I actually wanted to start with what I liked about the movie. <laughs> go on, tell me <laughs> because, what you liked. Because it's a it's a very, very good movie. Sure. Um, it... it it wasn't our cup of tea, it was especially yours, but it, it had an, a, a top tier cast, yep. right? It was a very, very cool setting. It had a great soundtrack. It had a mm. lot of a lot of things going for it. I love the relationship between, the conflict between Ace and Nikki, best friends, gangsters. One wants to go legit, one wants yep. to go, one's got like ambitions within the crime world that, that end up making all the wheels spin off. It's yep. crazy. It's awesome. Robert De Niro. Really, really good as a gangster. Joe Pesci, obviously, is just Joe Pesci. Joe he Pesci. Does, right. It's a good movie, right? Okay. But there were some things that I wasn't... I was a bit on the fence about. Hit me. Okay. The exposition... Oh, man. <laughs> ...was uh, kind of hard work. Why don't you tell me about it? Yeah. It was, Why don't you tell me about this? There was quite... Me. but. But I, but I won't linger on that because okay. th those were kind of, I wanted to just balance it out. Now, here's the thing that I didn't like very much. The relationship between Ace and his wife, Ginger, he trusts her with $14 million. Right. He talks about trust nonstop. Yeah. Okay. About how important trust is. He marries her after barely knowing her. Mm -hmm. She repeatedly demonstrates that he has no reason to trust her whatsoever. Yep. She tells, tells him, him not to trust tells her. Him. And we have to sit through this fucking car crash of a relationship. Yeah. And then, and the craziest thing is, the whole, the, the whole plot about crime moving into Vegas, mm. really cool, right? And then there's the plot with the relationship between Ace and Nikki. And then it's like, oh no, Nikki slept with... Ginger, mm. how's this going to go? I'll tell you how it goes. It just kind of doesn't really turn into anything. They're just like, all right. And I was just thinking like, well, hang on a minute. If we take that out, mm. we've got a three-hour movie, right? Oh, Jesus. We've got a three-hour movie. We've got a character which is completely fucking pointless to the mm. actual plot. And, and I tell you what I think they were doing was they, for some reason, this blows my mind, People don't seem to think that a gangster movie is enough on its own and it needs romance to oh, add the depth. Romance. Remove her altogether. Okay. I think that you have a 90 to 120 minute belter of a gangster film mm -hmm. that you could sit through start to finish, right? And just enjoy, okay? You think that it would shave off an hour and a half? I think it would shave off. Well, it was two hours, like 45. Yeah, okay. And I think it would shave off a good hour at mm. least. So, as you know, this is based on a real story. Mm -hmm. So, I've prepared something for that, Freddie. Go on. Okay. I know what you're thinking. <laughs> yeah, but it's a real story, Jambo. Well, I'm sorry, but just how they left out every time he went for a dump... You don't have to include everything. It's not a fucking documentary. Yeah, okay, all right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It didn't help the narrative. Dump versus <laughs> it didn't help the story. Okay, we we cut out loads of stuff and in and, real stories. And you may have seen that one thing it, that is far from um, corroborated is the fact that Nikki. I, I can't remember what their real names are, but Nikki and Ginger, their real life counterparts. It's not known that they actually did get together is that right that's like a, a so, artistic so that's liberty like... that was added <laughs> it went nowhere so um, is they're not they didn't it's not that they definitely didn't it's like they definitely didn't do yeah yeah yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. it's either or yeah. it's a gray area but i don't think that anyone has ever said that was that was fabricated for the movie yeah to add an element of tension so if that's fabricated and he really 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 wanted it in there why did he not have an extra little bit just to round off the only thing that this woman brings they, to the they plot add it in for what purpose it's to build that tension between nikki and ace right because they've got the yeah. meeting in the desert and they've got like everything's getting worse mm. between them and then you're like oh no he slept with his wife what the hell is gonna happen now 
and like they just don't talk about Nothing. it. They just no one like Ace don't give Ace, a shit. Ace survives. <laughs> Ace is fine. Like, also, Ace is pretty happy to be rid of her. Ace which, survives. Let's though. understand. Fair enough. On on your what if? All right. You, you, okay. This is a slight slight divergent, but we haven't spoken about this yet. Ace just survives. So they tried to kill him. Yes. And they fail because of the design of the car. All right. Whatever. And then the ending is he just goes back to. Making, betting. making money for the, the mob so bosses. So, so, so look, okay, so I'm sure that happened, right? But yeah. for something that was so meticulously explained to me yeah, for hours and hours, like to the point where I was like, stop fucking talking to me about what is happening right now. <laughs> they get to the end, they try and kill him, and then he just goes, so I just went back to doing what I loved. <laughs> and no one's like, everyone's like, did they try and kill him again? Did he just, who did he, did he gamble for them? Yeah, yeah, he did. He, he did, back he and they did, went, he, he gambled for them. He went so they, back to they tried to kill him. for them. They tried yeah. to kill him, but then thought, no, nah, it's all they right. Were, and, and in Scorsese's defense, this is what actually happened. Yeah, fair enough. So that's okay. But why didn't he explain? Why did he not, in a three Wait, hour what? movie, there's like two very important things going on in the plot. There's the wife. And then there's the attempted murder of A's, which is the opening fucking scene. Yeah. And neither of them are... Ex- in the three hours of exposition that we, we sat through... so much exposition. He didn't fucking tell us. <laughs> and at the end, he just goes, and I was all right by the end of it. Oh. Did, did it make... Does it devalue the whole film? The fact that the ending is just... It was, and fine. It was all fine. And you're not going to... Absolutely. Learn. Absolutely. Yeah. At the end of a story, you want change. Right, mm. and you get to the end of the three fucking hours, <laughs> and nothing is different. Everyone's dead apart from me. The end, <laughs> and, I, and I'm still <laughs> and I'm still gambling. And I casinoed my way to the top <laughs> casino. <laughs> oh, so I mean, look, this is why I made a point of going. This is what I liked about the film. Yeah. Okay. Because there were things I liked. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But the storytelling was atrocious and the specifically the ginger thing i just am General. confident you could just, just she could be a, a character that appears in one or two scenes just so we know he's got a wife and a kid yeah with a drug problem if you want but yes yeah so there's a bit of depth and it's interesting yeah. but the story is about crime moving into vegas mm. i don't need to know about a marriage that doesn't work i don't care it's not important Unless, unless Nikki and Ace come to a head because of that. Yeah. Then it's like, okay, well, at least then there's a reason that she's there. So, yeah. It yeah. felt like they had, so the story, he has to go from what really happened. And what really happened is they almost came to a head in real life, Nikki and Ace, or their, their real life counterparts, but they obviously didn't. Yes. So... Scorsese looked at that and thought, well, how could I make it seem even closer to it happening? <laughs> how could I make it look? That's not quite interesting enough. <laughs> let's, let's get them even closer and make it, it even, even more closer. exciting for it to all boil over. Even more emotional And then we're going to take it off the heat. <laughs> Just let it cool down. <laughs> but not for Sam, because he'll go back to gambling. Casino. <laughs> oh. so, so what what happens in your change? Oh no, I just, didn't get that far. That was just a change. It's, I want. it's a reasonably length film. I, I t- <laughs> <laughs> That's it. That's my change. I yeah. was like, my change is that you get rid of ginger and you have a better film for it. You know, you you literally you could remove her from mm. the like. There is no storyline in the in the mob bit, the the gang film that I'm there to watch. There is no bit that actually needs her there. So I didn't have to think very hard about this new movie, Fred, because I just say, cut the scenes out. The yeah. editor afterwards, record as many as you want, Marty. I don't care. Yeah. But the editor, just fucking get rid of them. <laughs> get rid of them all. Save this one. And there you go. You've got the movie. Great movie. Mm. Happy days. 90 minute belter. 90 minute. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. But what did you think? What did you guys think? Were we a little bit harsh? Or I think maybe a tiny bit harsh. No, we were it was, not. It was an all right film. It was a good film.